Okay, we're well, standing here with uh, Coach uh, Scalin from the uh, last uh, three years from Groningen. And he's now uh, wait, uh, seeing the European Basketball Championships here. Uh, what do you think of the level uh, of the teams so far? I think that the level is good. I think that in this group there are really two uh, teams, uh, Greece and Croatia, who are pretending to win a medal. And I think that there are plenty, all other teams are on very good level. And uh, you can see that they are fighting to qualify and to go to the next round. Does the, the play, the loss of Croatia to, to uh, Greece, does it surprise you? Or is it just a preliminary round, say so we'll meet each other in the semi-finals or something? I, I don't think that is a big surprise. I think that it's possible the, that any of these teams uh, are winning a game. The uh, problem for, uh, for, for Croatia was that we had uh, two injured players. Normally these are very two important players for us, starters. And uh, I think uh, we have been controlling game for 35 minutes and then end of the game we lost, uh, practically we lost the game in the last two minutes. Uh, I think that our rotation was a little bit too short, that uh, we didn't have uh, enough rotations and maybe not enough quality. Not, we have been missing some important uh, players, some points in the offense, so that was reason, but I'm, I'm, I'm deeply convinced that we can uh, win uh, Greece without no, any problem in the next round. Yeah, I noticed that uh, Bogdanovic was not playing because he got injured the day before. Which uh, other player isn't uh, not, not here? Uh, other player who is injured is Marco Thomas. He still didn't play uh, in uh, on European competition because he had some severe injury just before of that. He's a very important player for us and uh, medical staff from a national team uh, is working and we hope that uh, soon he will be back. Okay, um, uh, the player who surprises me most is, uh, is Simon, because I never heard of that player, maybe my mistake, but I think he's uh, doing a, an excellent job. I, I think that we are everybody a little bit surprised. I know him from, from, from a time he was a kid, uh, but definitely now he's playing uh, basketball on some other level than he played earlier, but that's a very good player. He's already uh, playing several years for a national team. I think that th this is his third or fourth European competition, so he has also a lot of experience, but I think now he's uh, age of 31. I think now that, th that really, really he, he reached top level and uh, he's really, really amazing. Okay, uh, you said uh, earlier that you uh, saw the Dutch win against Georgia. Uh, does it surprise you that the Dutch uh, win? First of all, big compliments for the team, for the players, for the coaches, for the whole organization. Because I think that uh, from the beginning uh, they have been kind of outsiders. Uh, team no one didn't count. Uh, I think that all these teams were counting that uh, against the uh, Dutch uh, team they will have easy job you know then they they have con cal uh, they, in which they can calculate give a rest to some players but the first of first they had an amazing victory first day against Georgia who's a really good team uh, with one NBA player with one ex NBA player with uh, several guys who are playing Euroleague so really uh, all my compliments to a Dutch team and after that we saw two games against Macedonia and Slovenia who are also very good European teams, we saw that the Dutch team was playing till the end. So really compliments to, 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 to all the members of the team, they deserve it. I hope now they have two games in front of them which are normally against the strongest opponents, Croatia and Greece. I, 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 I hope for them that they, will, that they will continue playing on a level they played till now. Yeah, we hope that we uh, can say a little bit with the other team that we don't lose uh, that much with that, man, that man much difference because we, you don't want to lose with 40 or 30. No, but I think that everybody should be proud. I think that uh, uh, this is the first time, I think, uh, after 25 years, am I right, that, uh, that, uh, that the team is on European competition and I think that, that, that really everyone, everyone in Holland uh, can be proud on them. Uh, also, I am very positively surprised and I, I can read Croatian newspapers and I think that also people from Croatia are very proud and pe uh, people from our TV, basketball expert coaches, uh, they said a lot of uh, nice words about basketball team, about their presentation and uh, I, I, I can see that a lot of people before of the competition I think they didn't know about uh, 
uh, th these players. But I can see, I can say now that all the people, people around are showing a lot of respect to them, and that's and that's something what is really good for a Dutch basketball. And I hope that uh, we will not wait 25 years uh, again to 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 qualify for the next European competition. Yeah, it was uh, 26 years ago the last time that they were here, also in Zagreb. So maybe if the, yeah, we want to be here in two years and not wait till this again in Zagreb. Um, you uh, you you quit with Groningen. You uh, you went home. Uh, do you have a club already? No, I don't have a club. Uh, I'm looking for a team. This is not easy because now the most of the teams they have their coaches. Uh, so I have to look for uh, some opportunities, probably some replacement of the coaches, which is going to be during uh, during a year. In the meantime, I am watching the uh, games, trying uh, to learn something new, uh, thinking a lot about basketball, preparing myself that I'm ready in situation when I have a new job uh, to start right away and uh, to be a better coach than I than I was. Uh, and being a father. Of course, of course, that's something what's, what's now my daughters, they have a lot of profit of me being home. So I'm uh, really satisfied for the moment that I'm home and that I can give some attention to them. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.